Welcome back to the second video in lesson one. Now we're going to take a look at what is the Network Plus. The Network Plus is an exam. You have to pass the exam to become certified. Network Plus or Net Plus is a computer industry certification that was created by CompTIA. It measures the skills and proficiencies that a network technician should have after nine to 12 months of hands-on experience. Now let me pause this for a second. These videos and these trainings are not certified by CompTIA. These are not authorized by CompTIA. This is Mr. Ford teaching you just like I've taught high school and college students. And so my opinion on this is going to be very different than the line of communication and the talking points that you're going to hear from companies that are part of CompTIA. When I say should have after 9 to 12 months of experience, please understand that usually this is not the case. A plus certification is supposed to measure people's skills and abilities after working on the job fixing computers after several months. Network plus, same thing except networks. The exams themselves, the exam questions, I have seen people in the last 13 years fail exams even with years and years of experience because they didn't study specifically for the test. As a teacher, one of the problems that we always have is do you teach to the test or do you teach what you know is the right thing as an educator? And this is something I had to balance when I was teaching high school and college students. On one hand, I had to get them ready to work in IT. I had to teach them how to be good computer technicians, computer, good computer network people. But at the same time, I also realized that if they don't pass this exam, they're not going to land a job. So what I've had to do in the past is strike a very delicate balance between the two. On one hand, we're going to tell you how it is, the reality of the situation. On the other hand, we're going to teach you how to pass the exam. Now this is something that all those companies do, no matter how much they praise how good the exams are and how realistic the exams are, realize that they're also selling trainings out there and they make their money off of people taking this stuff, okay? And so you really need to pay attention to not only the videos, but other things that I'm gonna call your attention to. I'm gonna have notes available for you to download, again, available on the website. But there's some stuff that is test specific, things that relate only to the exam. I guess in all fairness, it's almost like taking a driving test. You could have been driving for many, 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 many years, and you have to, let's say, to take the test over again. You might have a spotless driving record. You might be one of the best drivers in the world. But if you don't study test specific questions, you might very well fail the exam. CompTIA is no different. More about the exam. It is considered vendor neutral. What vendor neutral means in this case is that it's not geared for one company. Example, if you were to take a Microsoft exam, it is a Microsoft product you're taking the exam on. For example, I have an MCDST. It's a Microsoft Certified Desktop Support Technician Certification. When I was asked questions about a web browser, it was not asking me questions about Firefox or Chrome. It was all the questions about Internet Explorer. Now, the geek part of me is going to come out because the answers never fix Internet Explorer. It's install Chrome or install Firefox. But Microsoft wanted you to know how to use their products. This is vendor specific. Vendor neutral means that you get a sampling of all the major companies out there. So for example, with your Network Plus exam, you're going to learn a little bit about Microsoft, you're gonna learn a little bit about Cisco, you're gonna learn a, bit, a little bit about all the other companies that are part of the networking world. The certification is lifetime. Wait, no, no it's not. It used to be. For many, 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 many years, the certification, the A Plus certification, Network Plus certification was a lifetime certification. CompTIA had has decided to change that. As of 2011, CompTIA has declared that certifications are only good for three years upon the date of the initial certification. Now, again, my personal belief in this one is I completely disagree with this. CompTIA's answer and CompTIA's response to the criticism out there is that the field is constantly changing and they're trying to keep their certifications up to date. Well, you know what? 
The reality is, is CompTIA certifications are baseline certifications. They are entry level certifications for typically entry level IT jobs. In the networking world, if you only have a Network Plus certification, you aren't going to get the network admin position in most cases. To get the admin position, you're probably taking some Microsoft certification courses, you're probably taking some Cisco certification courses, et cetera, et cetera. So this is really a baseline. Now, the good part about this whole recertification thing and the expiration date is you don't have to take the test again. What you have to do is cough up money to take 30 CEUs, continuing education units. And these are usually provided by companies that have a say with CompTIA. We're going to leave that one alone for a second. But you have to take continuing education units and prove that you took the continuing education units within your three years in order to keep your certification valid. Another way to keep your certification valid is to take higher level certification exams and pass them. Here is a link for more information on what CompTIA requires for you to keep your certification valid and current. So what is on the Network Plus exam? All CompTIA exams have objectives or domains that they will develop exam questions from. Net Plus is a single exam. It's one exam, multiple choice, and it's computer based. If you remember the old days where you would take a Scantron and, and fill them out with a number two pencil, that's not this. You're sitting at a computer taking the exam. You will know before you get out of your chair if you pass the exam or not. As of the recording of this video, there are 100 questions and you have 90 minutes to take the exam. You must score 720 or above out of a scale of 100 to 900 in order to become certified. Now, let me back up for a second. Computer-based exams, just that word alone, just those words alone, computer-based exams can cause a lot of grief in students. If you have spent your entire life taking paper and pencil exams, taking a computer-based exam on its own is a whole new world. And I have seen this not just with IT professionals, but also my science students because I have an online test that I give them. Them sitting in front of a computer taking an exam is a new experience. So if you've never taken a computer-based exam, you're going to want to practice just that environment alone. So let's take a look at the domains that the questions are going to come from. We have networking concepts, network installation and configuration, networking media and topologies, network management, and network security. Now, again, let's be real here. Do not break down your studying based on percentages. It's been my experience that it's pretty much a crapshoot where they're pulling questions from as far as those domains go. I have seen students that I have personally taught get questions that were very heavy in this area and very light in that area when the percentages should have been equally represented on the exam. All right, the next video, we're gonna talk about the path to certification.